Good afternoon, wherever you are. Good evening, good morning, and a warm welcome to today's third event of SIMTO, entitled Building on an Electronic Syria Corpus Using OCR, Preserving and Digitizing Culture and Heritage. For those who don't know me, I'm Sabine Schmidt, the permanent faculty at the School of Historical Studies, representing Near Eastern Studies. And co-hosting this event with me is Maria Mercedes Tuya, representing Digital Scholarship here at the IS, and George Kiras, the founding director of Beit Maduto. Today's event is a continuation of the launch of SIMTO, which we organized back in April 2021 and continued in April 2022, which some of you attended. And we are very glad that you could join us again today for this meeting. Over the course of the next two and a half hours, we will be listening to a number of exciting papers. And since this is exclusively an online event, I now hand over to my colleague, Maria mercedes Tuya from our IT department, who will cover the housekeeping rules. Maria. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Um, a warm welcome to you all. We appreciate your interest in knowing more about Sinto. As you're all aware, this meeting is being recorded and will be made public at a later time. We have a large group attending, so let's just pay, let let so let me just add some housekeeping rules at this point. We ask that you keep your microphones muted at all times. Questions and comments will be addressed at the end of the program. Use the chat for your questions or comments, and you can add them during the presentations or at the end. If you prefer to be heard use the raise hand function to let us know and we will acknowledge you to speak. I now hand this over to George. Thank you very much, Sabine. Thank you very much, uh, Maria. Uh, welcome to the third launch of SIMTHO. And I'm just going to share my screen now. And let's start the... Uh, play, do you all see the... Yeah, we we'll see it. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, so this is our uh, third SIMTO launch. Uh, this is the program, basically. Um, uh, our team members will be talking uh, about how we got to step to to the third launch. Michael will speak about from SIMTO two to SIMTO three. Then Eva will talk about preparing texts that were typed rather than OCR'd. Uh, we could have a 10 minute you know, break uh, before we move to the next section. Then we have a number of guest speakers, uh, people who have used SIMTHO and they can give us their experience and their critiques that we also wanna hear critiques if you have them. Uh, and the last section will be, what are we going to do next? Uh, Slavo, our technical person and our NLP person will be talking about tokenization and NLP. And then uh, Daniel, who uh, uh, is an expert on, on HDR, uh, and we're actually using the system that uh, they have developed, Escriptorium, will also give us some feedback about what we said today and maybe some suggestions, some, some, some uh, ideas we should be thinking about. Uh, and you can keep your questions to the end. We have a lot of time. We have a half an hour, and we can go longer if you want to of Q&A, and then we will do some closing remarks. So this is basically how the next two hours will, will look like. Uh, I just wanna uh, uh, say that SIMTHO is the work of so many people, not just one or two people. These are our Cybel Fellows. Each year we have one uh, Cybel Fellow, and Michael uh, is one of them, and Slavo is the next uh, Fellow. Uh, and of course, we would like to thank the Herman and Mary K. Seibel Foundation uh, for uh, give a, giving us the funding to do this. And so many people who uh, are students and, and grad students and uh, who uh, uh, come in the summer to do our Beth Marduta, Beth Marduta Digital Humanities Fellowship. Uh, all of the people you see on the screen have worked on SIMTHO and you can tell your students and if you are a student, you can always apply. Uh, basically, you go to bethmarduso.org slash fellowships. And we also thank all the Syriac families that are supporting, uh, I'm not going to name all of them, but they're listed here, who are supporting the fellowship program. Uh, in addition, uh, we also 
partner with Princeton Theological Seminary. Uh, they send us every year uh, one or two interns to do their field education uh, with us. And everybody that you see on the screen has worked also on this project. And last but not least, uh, we have our Melto Lab team. And we will be talking today uh, about the work that, they, how they're contributing to, to Simtho, basically correcting all, all the OCR text that uh, is processed by, by machine. And of course, we, we would like to thank the people who support that operation. And we would like to call upon uh, people who can uh, to help us support that operation. Our Melfo Lab team are young women and men in the Middle East. And uh, this program provides them with jobs in countries where jobs are really needed for younger people. Uh, so please help us if you can by going to bethmarduto.org slash support slash Lab, and that's where you can adopt uh, a person who can be working on this project. Uh, a timeline of our releases. In 2019, we issued our first beta with 6.3 million words. These basically cons consisted of uh, texts from major series. They were OCR'd by William Clarkson. You see his picture here. And also that corpus consisted of Gorgias Press typed publications, not, not reprints. Our 2021 beta 2 came out with 13 million words. Uh, really 12 point something million words because we had duplicates that we were not aware of. And uh, basically we covered all the Gorgias Press reprints. They were OCR'd using Transcribus. And now we are giving you Simto 3.0, or not 3.0, Beta 3 actually, with 16.8 million words. And we have covered all scholarly publications that are covered in the Sergei Minov bibliography. We OCR'd all of these books, papers, and whatnot uh, using eScriptorium and Kraken. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the librarians at IAS, the Institute for Advanced Studies. Uh, we simply sent them a spreadsheet of a few hundred articles, and we said, can we have PDFs of these? And, and it it took them a few months. So they said, is it okay if it takes us a few months? We said, yes, okay. And they found all these publications for us. And then we went and we OCR'd them. Uh, in addition, this is a big thing that we are uh, launching for the first time. All the text that was OCR'd in beta one using the William Clarkson is now provided in beta three, where the text has been manually corrected by our Lab team in the Middle East. And that's why we keep calling for people to support this operation, because not only it gives people jobs in the Middle East, but also we get all these corrected resources that we can use. In addition, the Melfolab team also typed unpublished texts. That means texts that have not been published uh, through scholarly editions. Uh, and these were typed directly from manuscripts. So that, that is also the work of the Melfolab team. Uh, so what does Melfolab do? They, they get a line like this that was OCR'd, the top line, and the transcription will be beneath it, and they compare it, and if there's any mistake, they basically edit this line. And then you get the line edited, which means the text will be correct. I just want to give you uh, two personal stories of how I used uh, Simtho. Uh, somebody, uh, Alem Elbaum, discovered uh, a small fragment like this from the Cairo Geniza, and he sent it to me. And in a matter of five minutes, I was able, through Simtho, of course, not because I'm smart or anything, just because of Simtho, uh, to, to be able to, to find the text. And in about one hour, uh, the, there was uh, uh, an edition of it, something that would have taken ages and ages to recognize. Uh, I was in the, the, the church in Paramus uh, during one of the events, and I got, uh, it was a Shamburak event. You see the Shamburak food on the top. And I got a bit bored, so I went down to the library, and I saw this manuscript, and I flipped through it. But then I saw it again, and I noticed that, oh, the binding 
sheet looks so much older than this text. And it does look, it looks at, at least a thousand years old, if, if not more, not more from, from the script. And simply on my phone, I was able to recognize that this is, jo uh, this is Sugitho between Jesus and John. And Simto already told me that it's published in the CSCO 186. Um, but as it turns out, this manuscript is one of the earliest uh, uh, manuscripts that provide evidence for this talk. And all this was done in a few minutes on my phone. So I want to just show you some of the new features uh, in, in, uh, uh, in Simtho, uh, especially for those who have used it before. As you can see, we have 16.8 million words now. If you open it and you click on concordance and uh, you search for something, uh, I'm going to search for this, you will find the results. Something that is new, you could click on this image here and you can now see the actual edition from which the text was, was made. And here you see Fanoch, the last, the last word here that was recognized. Why is this very important? Because not always do we get correctly recognized text. And although we send it to our method lab team to, to correct the OCR, uh, that's still work in progress. There's a lot that has not been corrected yet. So you say, okay, I got this, my, my second items. I'm gonna click on it and you look here and you see the word doesn't exist. This word fanny was misrecognized as fano. So that's why the images are also important. You can double check whether the OCR got it correct or not. Here, you have it correctly, fanoch. The last one, you don't find fanoch, but you find menoch. So you could, you could double check. Uh, so that's one of the new features of this version. Uh, another feature uh, is that you can go to the corpus info, and now you could go to authors and click on the graph here, and you will see where the you you will see the percentages of our metadata. So you could see that thirty five percent is anonymous texts. Our biggest author is Jacob of Surug, fifty uh, for four point seven percent. Then Ephraim, and then we have Grigory Barebroyo, and so on and so forth. And you can do this for for many for for all of the tags. You can click on denomination, and you could see that thirty seven percent of the text is Syriac Orthodox, 23% uh, is pre-schism, pre 17% Church of the East, 14.7% uh, unknown, uh, then Chaldean, and so on and so forth. Um, let me see if document source, for example, you could see who gave us these documents or document type. 65% comes from printed books, 23% comes from journal, from journal articles. Uh, proofer, who proofread the text here? This is for the text that has been corrected by the Meltholab team. You will see that 62% is still uncorrected, but 8.2% was corrected by Stefan Schabo, and these are the individuals of the Meltholab team who have corrected the texts. Uh, the same thing uh, comes with the transcriber. In the cases where people typed the text, who typed the text? So uh, our biggest typist here is uh, Wilson Moraiden, 3.6%. Uh, of course, 90% is not typed, it is OCR. But that's where you will see uh, the typed text. Uh, and and you, you, you can search all these uh, basically other... Uh, uh, other metadata items. Uh, so this is the introduction that I wanted to give. And now we can move to uh, Michael. I will stop sharing. We hope you enjoyed the Simtho tutorials. Our Meltho lab team in the Middle East continues manually correcting OCR text to give you access to more accurate texts. 
the Melpho Lab operation is entirely supported by donations, and it provides young men and women in the Middle East with much needed employment during a time of local crisis. Our project also promotes pride in their heritage as workers contribute to promoting their own culture.